Maganda umaga po sa inyo lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the eighth day of our Novena Masses in honor of Our Lady. And so as we gather, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, Savior of the human family, you brought salvation and joy to the home of Elizabeth through the visit of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Ark of the New Covenant. We ask that in obedience to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we too may bring Christ to others and proclaim your greatness by the praise of our lips and the holiness of our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Song of Songs. Heart, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come. And the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet, and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for firmly believing that the promises of the Lord will be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
Na reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in Hayes, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My spirit proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The Lord's mercy is from age to age to those who fear Him. The Lord has shown might with His arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. The Lord has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry He has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. The Lord has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The first line of today's Gospel said, Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in Hayes. Ano nga bang konteksto ng ating Ibanghelyo? Tatandaan ho natin, matapos pong matanggap ni Maria ang mensahe mula sa anghel na si Gabriel na siya'y magiging ina ng Diyos. Sa so, punong-puno ng galak at tuwa na kanyang natanggap. At of, of course, hindi ho bigla-biglang ganun agad yun. May assumption po dito, she was able to discern well the will of God. Napagtanto niya ng maigi, napag-isipan niya ito. Talagang bago niya, kumbaga, bago nag-sink in, o di kaya at this moment, nag-sink in na talaga na siya'y nakatanggap ng napakad, napakagandang biyaya mula sa Diyos, na siya'y magiging ina ng Diyos. Ito po yung konteksto. Kaya pagkatapos nito, siya po ay naglakbay. In haste. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng in haste? Punong-puno ng, ng galak. Punong-puno ng saya. Andun yung, yung, yung pagiging zealous. Kaya siya'y naglakad naglakbay patulog patungo sa kanyang pinsang si Elizabeth sapagkat alam niya na ang kanyang pinsan ay nakatanggap din ng isang napakahalagang biyaya kumbaga nakaka-relate sila sa isa't isa na sa pagsabiyaya sa mensaheng natanggap nila sila ay makakaranas ng hindi ganoon kasimpleng buhay may pagdadaanan kaya siya mismo ay nakiramay din, nakiisa sa kanyang pinsan. Kaya kung titignan ho natin yung eksenang ito, yung kanyang paglalakbay patungo kay Elizabeth, kahit sa punong-puno ng ligaya, ng tuwa at galak na kanyang biyayang natanggap, hindi nga sinasantabi ang pagkakaroon din ng mga pagsubok sa buhay. Na kalakip ng biyayang ito ay hindi po automatic perfect na ang susunod. Alam niya, dadaan pa rin sa mga pagsubo. Kaya nakiisa siya sa kanyang pinsan. Ulitin ko po, 
hindi po automatic na kapag ikaw ay pinagpala na, na kapag ikaw ay taos puso ng sumunod sa, sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. Hindi po ibig sabihin na matapos mo inako ang kagustuhan ng Diyos. Hindi po ibig sabihin, ang susunod dito ay perfection. Hindi po ibig sabihin, ay, hala na, paupo-upo ka na lang. Madalas nga po eh, matapos mo akuin ang kagustuhan ng Diyos, madalas sunod-sunod pa ang pagsubok. At sabi ko nga po, hindi po ito sinasabi ni Maria. Alam niya ang mga posibilidad na ito. At nakita rin niya ito sa pinsan niyang si Elizabeth. Matapos natanggap ang biyaya ng mga nakaraang buwan, ngayon ang kanyang pinsan na si Elizabeth ay nangangailangan din ng kanyang presensya. Alam niya hindi rin naging madali ang buhay ng kanyang pinsan. Tatandaan natin, may katandaan na po ito. Nagdadalang tao. May edad na. Hindi ganun kadali. Kaya ang ginawa ni Maria, pinuntahan niya, nilapitan niya, nakiisa, nakiramay, inalay ang kanyang presensya. Magandang paalala po sa atin lahat, mga kapatid, na sana ganun din tayo. Matapos, feeling blessed tayong lahat. Kapag alam natin na pinagpala tayo, tatanda natin dapat maging handa rin tayo sa mga pagsubok. Or else, or else, bitter tayo niyan. Nakakarinig ba kayo ng mga taong nagsasalita ng ganito, Lord, matapos ko ginawa ito. Lord, akala ko ba ganito na? Bakit sunod-sunod dito? Una sa lahat, wala tayong karapatang magsabi ng ganyan. Kapag kagustuhan ng Diyos ang pinag-uusapan dito, ay ialay mo ng buong-buo ang buhay mo. Kaya dapat ganun din ang magiging disposisyon natin sa tuwing tayo'y nananalangin sa Diyos. Sa tuwing tayo lumalapit sa mahal na ina, Nawa hindi lang bitbit lagi o di kaya nangingibabo lamang ang mga pangangailangan natin sa tuwing tayo ay nagdadasal sa mahal na ina. Minsan ito nakakalungkot eh. Ang focus lamang sa tuwing tayo ay nanalalangin sa mahal na ina ay yung mga pangangailangan natin. Sa ibanghilyong ito, pinapaalala sa atin, hindi po dapat ganun. Dapat ang mangingibabaw ay yung kagustuhan ng Diyos sa atin. Hindi lamang dapat si Maria ang makikinig sa atin. Dapat matuto rin tayo makinig kay Maria na lagi niyang sinasabi sa atin. Sana'y buo rin ang pag-alay natin sa buhay natin sa Diyos. Ganun ng Diyos. Kapag pinagpala ka niya, mas lalo niyang ipapamuka sa atin na tayo'y mababang mababa sa mata ng Diyos. Kaya nga, yung magnificat ni Maria na kung saan damang-dama niya yung pagiging pinagpala niya, pinaparating po sa atin that the greatness of Mary is indeed in something inseparable from being lowly servant of God. Kita mo yun. Yung pinagpala niya ang Diyos dahil sa biyayang natanggap niya, hindi siya ni kailan naging mayabang. Hindi niya pinagyabang. Hindi niya pinamalita sa buong bayan. Ay nako, ito yung medyo mahina tayo eh. Nakatanggap nga lang ng maliit na bagay, feeling blessed na, aba, gustong ipamalita agad, selfie agad, nag expect agad ng likes. Sabi ko nga po, the greatness of Mary is inseparable from being lowly servant of God. Kaya sana ganun din tayo. 
kung nais natin mapag, maging map, pinagpala, kung nanaisin natin makatanggap ng mga biyaya, dapat maging katulad tayo ng ating mahal na inang si Maria. Mas higit na aakuin ang pagiging tunay na tagasunod ng Diyos. Please all stand. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for His mother. And let us ask Him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, make your church of one mind and one heart in love, and help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, Mother of Unity. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace that they may become living witnesses of your peace and justice in their vocation of wholeheartedly service. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the mother of mercy. May all who are faced with trials feel her motherly love and prayer. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary received God's word with an open heart May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our blessed mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Lord God, give to your people the joy of continual health in mind and body with the prayers of the Virgin Mary to help us, guide us through the sorrows of this life, to eternal happiness in the life to come. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord God, may our gifts be sanctified by the Holy Spirit, who formed the Blessed Virgin Mary, to be a new creation, and bait her with the dew of heavenly grace so that she might bear the fruit of salvation to the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For by your Holy Spirit, you inspired Elizabeth to reveal the surpassing honor you have given to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary is rightly hailed as blessed because 
she believed in your promise of salvation. In her act of loving service, she is greeted as Mother of the Lord by the Mother of Christ's herald. We make our own the canticle of joy on the lips of God's Virgin Mother, and in our lowliness, we too proclaim your greatness in the never-ending hymn of the company of angels and saints as they cry out. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Jerome, and all the saints of peace throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. May dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have nourished the church with your sacramental gifts and poured out on it the Holy Spirit. May it hasten to bring your message of joy to the whole world so that all people who received your saving word may rejoice in your redeeming love and acknowledge Christ as the Savior who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. Muli po paalala sa darating na linggo po ang ating kapistahan sa, ng ating mahal na ina at kayo po ay inaanyayahan. Bukas din po, first Saturday of the month, magkakaroon din po tayo ng dawn procession na magsisimula ng 4 a.m. May iksing procession lang po dito po sa labas ng Basilika. 4 a.m. po ang simula ng procession bukas. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Gagawin na po natin yung blessing for the sick. Alalahanin po natin yung ating mga mahal sa buhay na nangangailangan ng panalangin. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ngayon naman po para sa mga religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.